Morena everyone. Thank you for taking the time to join us for our Zealed webinar series today. My name is Rhonda and I'll be your moderator for today's webinar. Really appreciate your time and joining us um, because today's topic is actually full of really some lovely gold nuggets of information. Our topic is essential tools to step up your digital marketing game in 20. 21. <laughs> I had a moment of uh, thinking we were in 2020. <laughs> um, I just want to introduce Nidhi. So Nidhi is going to be our uh, guest speaker today, well she's our expert speaker today. She's a marketing specialist here at Zeld. She has led large digital marketing teams overseas with particular expertise in SEO and AdWords. But since being in New Zealand, um, Nidhi has specialised in the SME area. Nidhi has been with Zeld for over three years now and I have seen the difference that Nidhi's expertise has made for small to medium businesses get great results online. So just some housekeeping before we hand over to Nidhi. Um, at the bottom uh, left, there is some audio settings. If you're having trouble hearing anything, just pop over to there and, and have a play around with those settings and you should be able to hear us. Um, if you have a question, there's a few ways to do it. You can raise your hand. This brings you live into the session. So um, that another way that you can uh, raise a question uh, have a question is go to the Q&A section and pop a question there and then I will break in and ask Nidhi the question or save them up for our Q&A section at the very end as well. Um, there's a chat there if you were just wanting to ask me a question welcome to pop it in there and I'll do my best otherwise again I'll save that for um, Nidhi at, at a good time and she does we do love questions, so please just throw your questions at us as they're coming through. We'll try and address them for you. Um, if you've missed something, don't worry. We do email out the uh, recorded webinar to everybody so that you can go through it at, at your own pace as well, and you can share it with others. So today's topic uh, is really timely, I think. Um, I think it's now's the time that we start to look to be smarter with what we do. Everybody's time poor. And these are some tools I think that Nidhi's gonna go through and um, talk about. And I think they'll be able to help us in lots of different ways as well as just managing our time. So welcome Nidhi. Hey Rhonda. Morning everyone. So um, today what I will be talking about is essential tools to step up your digital marketing game in 2021. Uh, what we will be briefly covering in today's webinar is um, are digital marketing tools worth the investment? Digital marketing tools you can use for social media marketing, tools for email marketing, and we'll be also talking about SEO search engine optimization tools um, and useful uh, conversion optimization tools lead enrichment and lead capture tools, plus a um, little bit about graphic creation tools, which can be useful for creating infographics and just, just minor um, small images uh, for your uh, social, social media posts. All right, so um, are digital marketing tools worth the investment? Uh, digital marketing tools are online platforms that uh, provide you with technological capabilities that increase your productivity and better execute your marketing strategy. So they are very vital for your uh, digital marketing strategies. And um, some of them have literally proven good results um, in terms of monitoring the demographics, traffic on the website, so all sort of digital marketing things you need. So um, with the right mix of digital marketing tools, you can actually streamline your marketing campaigns, which is a very important part. Monitor the performance for each, um, automate a ton of tasks to just to save a lot of time here, increase productivity and efficiency. So uh, just covering the first thing here is social media marketing. As we all are aware, social media marketing is an amazing marketing tool for nurturing leads, attracting new customers and building business relationships. It also, um, use, it, it is also a useful platform for gathering data for customer preferences and social listening. Here are a few social media tools uh, which you can use for your business, which we are also using nowadays for most of our customers. 
Sprout Social. So Sprout Social is a social media management platform that helps you organize your content calendar and marketing assets. So you can actually um, configure most of your social media assets at one place and uh, you can schedule your posts and do whatnot. So key features for this tool includes publish and schedule content across social media platforms, collaborate with colleagues and customers, identify top performing content, discover new trends, hashtags, or topics to engage with customers, manage all of your social through a smart inbox. So this is like in-house one and all for um, all your social media assets, one place where you can schedule your posts and publish your, uh, you know, uh, schedule and publish your posts through social media platforms. It also gives you some content ideas as well, like training hashtags and which topics you can use for your next social media posts, etc. It's a quite useful one. Second good one is Loomly. Loomly is a social media tool for content creation and collaboration with teams. It's one of the most cost-effective and efficient social media platforms out there. It has many features to help you create smashing social media content like built-in calendars, again, to uh, you know, pre-schedule all your social media posts, ability to set the deadlines, like you know, your weekly calendars and everything, and create workflows, curation of content ideas. Another tool uh, we will talk about today is Audience. So Audience is a social listening tool that helps uh, businesses discover trends as well as identify and segment their social media audience. It's very important that you always uh, look into the demographics of your social media audience and then you know, start any new campaigns. It helps you dig out your customers more in detail, like especially with the interest areas, um, how your, you know, where your customers are from and what are their interest areas. This helps you to better target your campaigns in future. So help you dig into specific demographics, identify uh, personality triads, learn your target customers' interests, and enable you to run hyper-targeted ad campaigns. It also dig deeper into customer persona and discover opportunities to engage with your audience in a variety of online and offline channels. All right, moving to email marketing tools. As we all know, email is one of the most effective and cheapest tools for uh, lead nurturing. It helps you gain your customers' attention and build trust. And it is a fantastic platform for acquiring feedback. It's a staple in digital marketing for both big and small businesses and can be done through an automated email workflows and campaigns. Here are a few tools which I will be covering um, here in this webinar for email marketing, um, SendGrid. Apart from MailChimp, MailChimp is like the widely used one and it's preferable for small business as well. But yes, if you're looking for more comprehensive one, um, SendGrid is the one. They offer a range of email marketing services that are suitable for both seasoned marketers and newbies. From its easy to use email builder to in-depth performance analytics, you can create great email marketing campaigns using this platform. Drag and drop editing or coding email design options. It's, it, it has a little bit of coding, but it does also gives you options of drag and drop tools. Like, you know, you can uh, drag and drop some items like buttons or some, you know, form builders, et cetera, which are already inbuilt in their designs. And it also gives you some insights, del deliverability insights and performance analytics, like how your campaigns are performing, um, the open rate and you know how much time they spent on reading your emails, all those kind of um, information and analytics it gives you. And um, it has a free plan for small businesses. So most of the tools I'm covering, they do have a free plan, but uh, yeah, you can choose the starter packages depending on you know how comprehensive and uh, what kind of facilities you want for these tools. But yes, this one comes with a free plan for smaller businesses, depending on your database. 
second one is Zest email marketing tool. This is our in-house marketing uh, email marketing tool, which is integrated with most of our um, um, Zest websites. It's very useful. Comes with uh, some uh, really good templates, which are which you can ask the developers to build for you, and which you can use for all your emails and you know sending all your campaigns and newsletters to your customers. If your website is built on our Zest CMS, then you can take full advantage of this inbuilt um, email marketing tool. This tool is integrated into website, which makes it easier to build and maintain an email database. And it's readily available email marketing templates. Um, you can also schedule your emails and segment your data accordingly. We also have Lemlist in this list. Lemlist is a very unique email marketing tool that focuses on the deliverability of your email. So the open rate is quite high when you're using Lemlist. It helps you understand the best time to send your email and details helpful insight to help you improve your campaign. So it gives you all kind of data that helps you and um, that helps you to give you the right time to schedule your emails and your, all your campaigns. And um, it also gives you the frequency details also when to send an email and um, the best time to send an email. So um, it's it's a personalization tool for email outreach campaigns, help you um, build a strategic follow-up campaign for your database. Like, um, like you are sending an email in the first week of, um, you know, once the customer has signed up. But yes, it also gives you a strategic overview of how you can, you know, follow up with those customers back to back and how often you should follow with those customers. So all those kind of information is given by Lemlist. Another one we have is uh, Moosend. Moosend provides a robust email solution for businesses. Uh, from its drag and drop email editors to advanced reporting capabilities, you will get all the tools you need uh, to create um, an amazing email marketing campaign from scratch. So you don't have to be a coder or expert in HTML in order to create the um, layout or templates on this uh, email marketing tool. You just have to drag and drop the tools and you can create your own personalized template to send emails. Um, it's, um, it has simple automations, uh, website or user trackings you can uh, put here, like to track the performance of your campaigns and everything. And um, advanced and easy to read reporting is there. It gives you a very uh, enhanced and comprehensive details of the pie charts and everything like with the open rate and um, how many were bounced emails. So all those kind of data it gives you. We also have Active Campaign. Active Campaign is a great marketing tool that helps you engage, nurture, convert, and grow your customer base through sophisticated and highly automated email campaigns. So, uh, marketing automation, it, it also helps in marketing automation, customer segmentation. You can segment your data according to your customers, like, you know, highly engaged ones or less engaging customers. So, all those segmentation ideas it can give you. You can also site, uh, put site tracking on um, this kind of a tool and uh, deliverable automation maps, even tracking. And um, it also helps in CRM and sales automation. Nadi, just before you um, go over to the next section, we've had a question, is Moose Send better or similar than MailChimp? Do you, do you know? Um, they both are same, but yes, they have a different plans. Uh, for example, you know, uh, the business plan might be different from the MailChimp. MailChimp is widely used because it's because it's quite cheap as compared to MooSend. But yes, you can also opt for SendGrid and look for what what best plans you know these email marketing platforms are offering you. Yeah, and often my understanding is a lot of the plans are based on how big your database is, yes. and then exactly. how and then some of them are. are as not on your database but how often you're going to be sending so yes. it's a matter of you know some if you've got like a thousand in your database that's your total charge whether you're sending to them once a month or five times a month but others it's on how many sends so it's a matter of weighing them up most of them from what I understand have a very um, low level sign up where you can actually just sign up and have a bit of an investigation have a look around to see yes, which they, ones 
Yeah, they offer like from a starter plan to like business plans, like depending again on your database, how big your database is. Yeah. You can, if you have a very small database, you can opt for a starter package. And most of them of also offers, um, yeah, you know, free plans yeah, for, for a month or a two. Yeah. And then you can see how you go. So if you were, you know, a, a database of around a thousand, so that's, mm -hmm. that's generally fairly small, right? Um, yes. Would you have a preference as to which one you would use? You know, no matter what the plan is in terms of the actual tool, you know? I think MailChimp and SendGrid will be good tools to invest if you have a very small database. Yeah, because my understanding, SendGrid can do a lot of automated emails yes. at specific times through that whole purchasing funnel. Is that right? Yeah. 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 And it's easy to use as well. So you don't have to be, you know, coding expert in order to use their templates. Awesome. Thanks, Nadi. Oh, good. Um, we'll just proceed with now uh, search engine optimization tools. Um, according to Bridge Edge, 68% of online experiences begin with a search engine. So search engine tools are very important for your website's progress and your organic rankings. So they play, there are plenty of online marketing tools you can use to help you discover search opportunities and optimize your current SEO efforts. So here are the few tools which um, we'll be covering today. The first one is um, AHREFs. So AHREFs is a great tool for competitive analysis and getting keyword ideas and ranking opportunities. So you can put up your like up to two to three of your com competitors um, and see how their website is performing as compared to yours. You also get some keyword ideas which are high in traffic according to the domain and according to the services or products you're selling. Um, the key features for this uh, search engine optimization tool includes um, ability to check other websites, uh, top organic keywords, estimate the amount of traffic a competitor receives for specific search terms, and identify your competitor's top performing content and backlinks. So it gives you an idea of how much back, backlink you know, your um, competitors are having and how much you need to build up for your website's credibility. So uh, apart from competitor analysis, like you can also focus on keyword ideas, like top performing keywords. You can also use these keywords for your metadata, organic uh, for improving your organic ranking. Plus these keywords will be very useful for you know, your Google ads as well. Um, the next one is ClearScope. Um, ClearScope is a great tool for content optimization and SEO. It lets you take advantage of keyword opportunities to help you improve the quality of your content and get better SEO results. Keyword recommendations, it gives keyword recommendations like all other SEO tools and detailed content editor. And it also gives you the comprehensive reports like checking on your SEO score and you know overall authority, domain authority and, and your uh, credibility of the website. It does comes with the starter package. Um, which is um, very, very, very less um, on a monthly basis, charges you on a monthly basis. So quite a good one to use. The third tool is STM Rush. Um, Zeal tend to use this tool a lot uh, for most of our clients in monitoring the SEO health score. So this is um, the best out of all. And uh, it does have a free plan and it also gives you some business plans also like if you have more websites to monitor the SEO score, you can also use uh, the big plan. But yes, uh, the starter plan for a small business will be a perfect one. Um, SEM Rush allows you to track the position of your priority keywords. It also gives you position tracking a report, like where you were ranking in the past couple of months and how you have improvised over those organic rankings. And uh, of course, it gives you, um, you know, uh, details of the new keywords you, you can use for your um, website, like especially in the content and the metadata of the website. It has keyword research and conversion optimization tools to help you improve your website's search engine ranking. Um, it helps you to discover new keyword ideas, um, keyword difficulty and variations, like long tail keywords and short tail keywords, all those kind of details and um, website conversion optimization tools. 
The best thing about this tool is it also gives you recommendations from time to time, like which uh, recommendations you should apply, which which are urgent, which are, you know, uh, at most important um, things to address on the website, like errors and, you know, any any breaking of the links. So all those kind of recommendation it does gives you from time to time. It's important to check your health score using this tool from uh, like every month and seeing where your website is lying. Um, next part is conversion optimization. Improve your website conversion rate by fine tuning your um, implementing uh, small changes that deliver great impact on your customers. Whether that's changing the colors of your website buttons, checking the grammatical errors, fixing missing links, a small change can drastically improve your customers' online experience and increase their likelihood of converting. So it's all about the conversion. So we, we all optimize our website and use these tools just to make these conversions happen on the website. So some conversion optimization tools are really important just to test, you know, what's lacking in the website and um, how your customers are, uh, you know, interacting with your website. So all those kind of tools are quite important. We'll cover some of them. Um, Unbounce. Unbounce is an amazing tool for understanding your customers' preferences by creating and testing landing pages. It has built-in A-B testing and variant um, analytics features to help you understand key opportunities and uh, conversion blockers in your content. So again, this has easy drag and drop builder where you can create landing pages and easily drag and drop uh, using form builders and other you know, image and text headers. And uh, it has some customizable templates as well. Um, and it has uh, proven um, um, landing page templates, which, have, which, which proves really good results in terms of getting conversions. It also has A-B testing capabilities. Um, A-B testing here, um, I mean, is uh, when you're testing the left-hand side and the right-hand side of a website, like which part is performing well and where most of the customers are clicking, like placing of a button can be really helpful. Like if most of your customers are um, using the right-hand side to click the button, um, right-hand side button, so it's, it's most likely you should place all your buttons and all important call to action on the right-hand side of the website. So this is called A-B testing. It also gives you details about that. And it also has advanced analytics. Next tool is um, Optimizely. Um, emphasizing landing page experiments, Optimizely combines tools for visual creation and audience targeting to quickly run tests on different segments on your audience. It's a no-code platform, um, again, easy to use for uh, a non-IT person. Easy landing page edits. You can easily um, edit your landing pages and create new ones. Experiment and optimize your content through A-B testing. Again, this also has facilities for A-B testing. Uh, the next important tool is Hotjar. So um, this is quite widely used. So uh, it, it's basically used mostly for heat mapping and checking the areas which are um, hot on your website, where most of your customers are clicking and where most of your traffic is going on the website. So this type of, this type of ideas really helps you improvise your website's template and layout according to you know, uh, mapping the heat, ma heat mapping the website. Like Hotjar allows you to see your visitors' actions and behaviors on your website. It provides you with the evidence-based feedback about your website through heat maps and video recordings of customers' landing page journey. So it records the whole journey of a customer, like from homepage until the checkout process, and um, how often and which were the most visited pages and where your customers were clicking on the website. So all those kind of information is shared by Hotjar. Quite a useful one. Now we'll switch to lead enrichment tools. Uh, there are many different tools in the market that can help you better understand your leads and highlight key information to reach out to them once they have shown interest. These tools can help you improve your um, outbound marketing um, efforts and get better results in your prospecting efforts. So some lead enrichment tools is like, this is just like a creating a database of your leads and nurturing them through the, there and maintaining. Uh, like Clearbit is a fantastic lead generation tool that creates an up-to-date profile of your leads to help power your outreach efforts. 
Um, this complete lead details, including company role, social social media profiles, etc. Deeply understands your customers, identify future prospects, and personalize every single marketing and sales interaction. So this is directly connected to your website, where you um, where people fill in the form inquiries and put in their details. So all those leads are captured here um, in the Clearbit database. Data Nice um, is another great platform for discovering key contact information about your leads, it especially works best on LinkedIn. So it gathers, um, it, it makes a connection with LinkedIn and gather contact information of prospect, prospects directly from their LinkedIn profiles, expert profiles from Google Chrome. So this is quite useful for B2B uh, businesses. We also have Lead Capture, which is somewhat like Lead, um, enrichment. Um, optimize your visitor conversion tactics by ensuring that you get visitors to take action on your website. So these are the few reliable tools you can use to capture your leads and get the ball rolling for your visitor to customer conversion process. This is, uh, this is like a landing page creation tool where you can capture leads. Like um, this is the Optima, Optimonk um, tool. This helps you capture more leads and prevent bounces through the sophisticated and personalized pop-ups. Um, the platform uses exit intent messages and behavior-based targeting to ensure that your pop-ups don't disturb, disrupt your customer's positive website experience. So again, it has a very useful drag and drop edit, uh, drag and drop um, editor, which can be easily used. Personalized messaging and user segmentation is also um, a facility here. And it has a vast collection of templates which can be used. We also have Typeform here. Typeform is a sleek tool for marketers looking to create attractive and minimalist forms. Platform has an easy to use editors. Again, uh, it's easy to embed with your website and lets you create quizzes and interactive forms just to capture more and more leads. Like, you know, you can create quizzes, a uh, form, like, like, like an event kind of a thing, which, you know, really captures more and more leads. So again, it also has inbuilt templates within uh, this um, platform, which we can easily use, drag and drop feature and uh, it can be easily integrated to most of your social medias with your website and whatever assets you have like CRM portals or anything if you have. We also have Mail Munch in the list. Uh, Mail Munch is both an email marketing and a landing page tool. It's, it's a combination of both that is mainly focused on list building. It offers several engaging form types and emails that you can send to prospects who have opted in, like customer segmentation, customer demographics, goal-based form builders, and it has more than 100 plus customizable templates. The last one we have is the graphic design tools. This is mostly used for creating the infographics and social media posts. Um, not all of us are very, you know, familiar with Photoshop and all that those, you know, comprehensive um, Photoshop tools. So these are the these are some easy to use tools which can um, help you to create images. Visuals are the co cornerstone of social media marketing and um, branding. If you don't have the budget for a designer or are running a DIY business. Digital marketing tools such as Canva has become the go-to for producing eye-catching visuals. But there are a few other graphic creation tools you can use uh, for creating a st stunning creatives that capture customers. Canva is widely used one and it's very easy to use. It also offers free and um, some very um, starter packages as well. But yes, apart from Canva, um, Creative uh, Creative is, is another tool. This um, this is create for teams for easy collaboration. You can also you know add multiple admins and uh, give access to your team members just to create uh, images and videos and etc. Uh, readily available templates for various online placements and ability to adopt a single design into multiple platforms and formats. We also have this me. 
Uh, Wisme is again an amazing platform for creating presentations, videos, and infographics and data visualizations. It's the perfect platform for both experts and no voices who publish content centered on data and research. This is a little advanced one. So it has easy uh, drag and drop platform and lets you pull the data from external sources also like you can um, download an image from internet and then rework on that image uh, to make changes according to the need of your business or your social media post and suitable for individuals and teams and it also has vast collection of templates. So Vengage, um, this specializes in the creation of professional and engaging infographics. This is solely for infographics and it's very useful in case you're, you are into creating infographics for your social media posts. It lets you import charts and graphs and customize um, any template to suit your brand. It has over 7,500 templates. Um, again, this also has easy drag and drop editor so you don't have to be encoding, a coding expert for this and um, ability to collaborate with your team. So it can integrate multiple platforms in, and also you can uh, give access to your team members depending on their roles and expertise. So um, we just covered all the tools um, and which digital, which digital marketing tools should be part of your stack. Um, so. Uh, with the right uh, tools, you can streamline your campaigns, create better marketing decisions, and automate a bunch of time-consuming tasks. Select some of the tools above and uh, give them a quick test drive to see which one works best for you, depending on your needs and your budget. Uh, once you identify your preferred marketing tools, you'll find that you can create more sophisticated campaigns that resonate with your um, audience and deliver amazing results. That's all from my side. Thanks, Nidhi. Sorry, I just realized I was on mute. <laughs> if you can stop sharing, that would be awesome. Yeah. And we've got time for some questions. Um, I'm still seeing share. Are they lovely? Thank you. Um, what was the name of those programs is one question that's come through. Look, it might mm -hmm. we actually named quite a lot there. Um, so it might be best to just look through the recording of the webinar and then you'll be able to stop and have a look at all of them um, uh, so that you'll be able to check them out. I just want to also bring to everybody that's here today, we've also have a look at our webinar library. It's full of great tips and some of them go through email marketing and therefore we'll look at tools involved with email marketing. We've got one there that uses in video for like the graphic design side, Nitty specifically looking at creating a video just for Facebook and how to DIY that. So I really do recommend you have a look at our webinar library and, it, and look at the, the individual topics and then there'll be some recommendations there as well. Um, which online review management tools do you recommend, Nitty? Uh, review management too you mean yeah. uh, for, yeah. for traffic management and stuff i'm assuming like google uh google um reviews Analytics. and things you know things like that when people are try i know there's ones where you can ask for reviews and then manage those reviews yeah managing See, uh, customer reviews See, if you um, are willing to gather more customer reviews, I would suggest creating an email marketing campaign and, you know, linking the buttons with your Google review and Google My Business listing or Facebook review section, you know, in case you are encouraging your customers to send more reviews. So I would, I would really suggest to create campaigns, you know, really focused on collecting more and more reviews. Yeah. Um. Technically, in marketing, is there nothing free? <laughs> That's from Rajan. <laughs> yeah. I guess so, right? Everything, I guess, so even these things that are free subscriptions, they're trying to get you used to using their tool. And as your database grows, then, uh, you know, you, you kind of get hooked into them and then, you, you know, you start to... Um, uh, you know, incur costs eventually. Yeah, I don't know what you think about that, Nitty. Look, we do have um, some 
free tools also like online which you, which a startup which which are very useful for a startup company like you know google analytics is is one of the free platform which you can use and integrate your website with just to monitor all the demographics and it gives you very in depth details of the traffic coming on the website and we do have cost effective email marketing tools like sendgrid um, mailchimp which you know have free packages uh, free free starter packages which you can also use and um, like for testing, um, like SCM Rush is all in one SEO tool, which we also tend to use a lot. It has free versions as well. So just start with less and see uh, like uh, how you're growing. And when once you are, you know, on board with all these marketing tools and, you know, everything is happening and you're getting more and more leads, then start with these, you know, uh, business packages and high level packages and tools. Yeah, I guess that's one of my questions is, you know, for a startup or small business, there's so many subscriptions and so many tools that you can use. What would you say is the most important to get and to use? See, uh, for the startups, it will really based on your goals and businesses. So, um, but stick to the basics. That's I will suggest. Uh, look for free platforms, like I said, Google Analytics and cost effective email marketing tools like uh, MailChimp and Hotjar also to map out the website and test where most of your traffic is. And like all in one SEO tool, which is yeah. SEM Rush. Yeah. And I think that's something that we've talked about before is get your website right there's no point doing lots of work to get traffic to your site if it's not optimized and looking good so get your website right the next thing is the email marketing because that's cheap and cost effective it's old school but it still works and like you're saying Nitty, there's lots of free tools once you've got email marketing sorted you know seo again on top of that and then and then it just kind of gets wider and wider social and some of your individual business planning and goals will help direct that growth but you've got to start sure. first right on that landing page on on those on those key pages within your site getting the website correct is the first and you know at most important thing to start with any any marketing activity so sort out your website first work on the seo side of the things and then start slowly and gradually opt for these tools right so some of these tools that support that initial looking at the site would be where you'd start first i guess Is that yeah right? so, yeah yeah so i will suggest to start with seo tools free there are lots of free seo tools as well so i have covered a lot of business and as well as free tools it's a mixture of you know um, business as well as um, like uh, the um, starter packages tools but yes um, a lot of free seo tools are out there which you can try and test for your website so i'll hi highly recommend that awesome um, I guess what would what is your current marketing system lacking? How do you kind of identify where your system is lacking and, and what you, you could kind of add to it? I think um, automating marketing efforts can be a great solution for a lot of companies, uh, particularly those who are growing rapidly. Uh, like a recent survey also suggests, you know, uh, that the automation software can be helpful if you need to scale your efforts quickly. So if you have multiple databases and uh, that cannot be consolidated um, and you need to and you need the automation tools to sort out everything. Moreover, automation can also help your email system. Um, and if your email system can't deliver the behavioral targeting you need, so automation can really help you with, you know, segmenting and targeting properly. So a question here is which marketing automation platforms do you recommend? So these are all automation platforms like for social media automation. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So, so you've got the social ones, you've got the email ones, you've got the SEO ones, you know, so they've they've all been the automation ones that we've been recommending. Yeah. 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 Depending on your needs again, like what yeah. kind of business you're running, what are your goals and objectives? Yeah. And I guess sometimes your, your time and skill, you know, if you've got someone on your team that's really getting into the social, then some kind of social tool for them to use. But if you're not a social one, then go back to the email, go back to the SEO, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and how do you measure the success of these systems and that you're setting up? 
see uh, most marketing automation platforms um, come with some kind of analytics that can help you track the key performance indicators like they have dedicated dashboards in the back end uh, where you can monitor the progress of the campaigns like mailchimp and sendgrid offers you um, a very comprehensive dashboard where you can you know see the open rate bounce rate of all the emails and it also tells you like uh, what should be the frequency of these emails, you know, how often you should send these emails. So the, these dashboards are really helpful and all of these automated tools comes with their own uh, dashboard, like like a Facebook ad dashboard or Google Analytics dashboard. So similar like they also have their own dashboards where you can monitor the success and measure how your campaigns are performing. Awesome. Um, just I'm going to just share my screen. So thank you, Nitty, for that. Um, what we know is that getting success online is not simple. <laughs> it can be complex and very time consuming. And so there is an opportunity to leverage off of cost effective tools to do much of the work for you, to give valuable analytics and insights so you are putting your efforts in the right place. And it's our recommendation that you work on one thing at a time, get what you have got working and better for you. So if you've got a website, get that working better for you first and then kind of expand from there. I kind of think it's like, let's work smarter, <laughs> not harder, right? Use these tools to help us to work, um, you know, smarter at what we've got, yeah, basically. Um, Zeld has helped over 15,000 businesses transform digitally over the last 20 years. We've just reached our 20th birthday, which is amazing as a New Zealand company to be part of uh, this long established company. Um, if you would like um, support getting your marketing um, sorted or your website looked at, please get in touch. We provide online strategies and website audits from our digital business strategists. Um, because we've been around for 20 years, we've got a wealth of knowledge to share. And at the beginning of COVID, we launched our gem or get e-commerce movement. It, and this is where basically it's an initiative available to all small to medium businesses to get online. And we're offering free website builds for e-commerce services, charities. Um, and basically there is no sale, no hosting fee for the first 12 months. Basically, we just wanna help people get online because we know that it's where the, um, the economy is gonna survive through doing this. If you'd like to know more about um, Gem or know someone that could really use with this help, please just send them to our website, zeal.com. Um, our next webinar is in a fortnight's time and I'm going to be the, the, the expert on it. Um, offers coupons and discounts to generate sales as a average online shopper. <laughs> I feel this is an area that I actually I really love. I'm really motivated by them. And I think you'll be surprised at how many different types of offers, coupons and discounts you can do um, and the creativity that's around there to motivate people. Um, and don't forget our webinar library is on zeal.com and go to the knowledge section and then go to the webinar section and in there is a whole library of webinars, our past ones. You can also go to YouTube and look up Zeal's channel and there they all are as well. They're on YouTube and that's just for those um, people that were asking earlier about some more of the information that we've been sharing since we've been doing these webinars, which I think has been over a year now we've been doing them because we started them with COVID. I just want to give a really special thanks to Unity. I really appreciated this webinar. I love my gadgets, I love my tools, and I think it's good to uh, get some advice on which ones to use to help our business owners as well to be savvy, you know, to kind of use their time wisely in a time poor world. Thank you, Nidhi. Thanks, Rhonda. Really look forward to seeing you all in a fortnight's time, but have a happy and safe week, everybody. Bye. Bye.